Welcome back tech friends. Today I've got something rather special. So if you are a solo screen laptop user like me in my day-to-day -day job, then this Sia Viola S6 portable double screen laptop extender could be about to change your productivity levels. We're going to unbox it, we're going to set it up, we're going to walk through the pros and the cons and let you guys make up your own mind. Is it worth spending your hard-earned cash? Let's do it. So this is what we're talking about guys, the Sia Viola S6 triple screen laptop extender. As it says here, it's 15.6 inches, 1920 by 1080, so full HD, 60 Hertz, 300 CDM, and contrast at 1000 to one. On the back, it gives us an indication of the different orientations. So you've got your laptop in the middle and the two extendable screens on each side. You've got them in portrait version here, and you can have one in portrait and one in landscape. And there's a whole host of other orientations that you can actually do with this extender. In terms of specification, S6, the screen scale is 16 by nine. The screen is 60 hertz, it's 1920 by 1080. It's an IPS screen at 15.6 inches. It's five to 20 volts at five amps max and it's type C input output with HDMI as well. So turning this over and opening it up, I will say it comes really nicely packaged guys. It is quite a thick box and it did say, so I'm not surprised on the back that you do get a carry bag and I wasn't really expecting that, but you do get it all housed in this fake faux leather bag, which is quite nice. We'll put that to one side. We get our user guide in here. So this is gonna walk through our contents of instruction, layouts, what we actually get, how to do the different layouts. And as you can see, guys, there is so many different orientations, whether you want them side by side, portrait, landscape, individually mounted, dual stacked, so on and so forth. It goes through the whole process as well. Moving on, we're also provided with two right angled USB-Cs, two USB-Cs, so really nice that they're included there. You've also got a USB type C to full size HDMI, another USB-C to full size HDMI, and we've also got a USB type C to USB type A. We've got two of those as well. Got this carbon looking rotational angle adapter on the back here as well and then we have a nice little plastic cover. So just coming back to our faux leather carry bag here, really nice little bag here guys, wasn't really expecting it. You get a little thing on the back here, you can pop any of your cables in that you're gonna require in order for installation, etc. Our laptop extender, ooh, they're pretty nice, look at that. You got this carbon effect on the actual back of them. This looks really nice, guys. Really nice, collapsible, foldable, and all comes down into one piece. Now what we can do is pry these two screens apart, and then this bit should come off. There we go. So it comes into three separate pieces, guys. There we go. So we have our two screens, and then we have our actual center module here which is fully extendable from 13 inches to 17.3 inches. So a wide array of actual laptops this is gonna actually work with. We have our folding arms here, which gives us the versatility from zero to 230 degrees on both sides. And each one of these have rotating ends. So that allows us to put it in both portrait and landscape modes as well. On the back, we have a nice little kickstand, which is gonna support the weight of obviously both of those screens and your laptop. These all fold in all the way down. Everything's magnetic as well. I really like that. And one of the cool things, guys, let's say you don't actually need both screens and you just need one of them. Well, you do get a kickstand in the box, so you could just fold it into here and you could have this as a, a solo screen. Or if you wanted to keep the base, Again, it is magnetic, so it just nicely clips into place. You could pop that onto there like that. You could fold these two arms out, and you could also use those as 
stands as well, guys. So let's just go ahead and actually set this one up, guys, as if obviously you guys are going to actually be using it. So let's just do it as simple as we can. This one goes on the right hand side, right hand side, right hand side, but you just slide them into place like that. Slide it into place. There we go. And then we can lift that up like so. We can put our kickstand back to support it. We can extend this to make sure it can fit. We can then fold in our laptop screen like so. And then we can close that off so it all matches. You wanted this one portrait, for instance, you could easily just rotate that around like so. And again, you can fold it back in and now all of a sudden we've got one landscape and one portrait. Maybe you've got Discord up there, maybe you've got a game on your laptop, maybe you've got chat if you're doing Twitch streams or YouTube on your left hand side here. Having that additional real estate when it comes to screen is humongous and it's one of the negatives in terms of laptops. Great in terms of mobility, but you've only got the possibility of one screen. This opens up a whole host of different applications that you can use your laptop with. Next important thing is, can everybody actually use this? And the answer is yes, because they have thought about that, guys. What we've got is we've got USB-C with DisplayPort. We've got Type 1 USB-C, Type 1 USB-C, and then we've got Power Button and our actual Settings button. If your laptop has got two USB-Cs, for instance, like on here, the easiest way of setting this up would essentially be with the two USB-Cs to two USB-C cables. It's very important that you use these two here, which are indicated blue if you're connecting via USB-C to USB-C. So what we can do is we can just pop that USB-C into here, like so. And then we can go around the other side and we can pop one of the USB-Cs into my laptop. And we'll pop that into the Type-C1 port as well. And then we're gonna push this cable all the way around and put it into the other USB-C type port on my laptop as well. We are ready to rock and roll, guys. We've now got our dual screen extender and we've now got three screens. We can turn this on and what we're looking for is to remove these two pieces of film here. One and two. There we go. Is it as easy as they say? Because that was pretty easy, guys. And hopefully you can see it on there. There is no drivers required at all. No software required at all. Now, dependent on how you have your laptop set up, then you may need to go into uh, Windows, into the screen settings, and obviously set those screens up through the actual setup here, which I'll show you now. On your actual display screen settings, you will see here we have got all three screens on, we've got power, but what's actually happening is we are duplicating desktop one on two and three, okay? So what we can do is we can only show on one. I should be able to press extend display here There we go. You'll now see in the display settings, we have got screen two, one, and three. If I press identify, you'll see that one is in the middle, two is on the right, three is on the left. We can actually drag and drop this over here. So if I put that one over there, and then I put number one in the actual middle, and I'll line them all nicely up, and I press apply, and then I press identify, we've got our one, three, and two. And because we're extending the actual display, it means that if I take my cursor, drag a box to the right, it will drag it onto this side. If I drag it onto this side, it will carry it further onto this side. So we've now got three individual actual screens. So I could open up my emails, for instance. We could have emails on there. I could open up an Excel document. We can drag that one across here put it as a full screen, watch something on YouTube or something like that, or we've got our web browser, we can have that open 
over here as well. Now a lot of people will be saying, well that's fantastic, it works brilliant with minimal cables if you've got two USB-C's or display ports. What happens if I've only got one USB type C? So ultimately guys, what they've done and what they've thought about is really clever. You can take your HDMI to USB-C. Really important this part, that you get it connected into the correct one. So we want the red one this time, which is USB-C with display port. We can take our USB-C, we can put that into there, pop that into our HDMI port on the side there. So we're gonna take another USB type C to USB type A. We're gonna plug in our type A port, which is here. We're gonna take this cable all the way around and then we are going to plug our type C into that first port over here as well. And what we should see is this screen will power on. All we've got to do then is pop that back onto our extender like so, fold it back in, and there we have it guys. We've got one USB type C going directly to our USB type C on this side. We've got a USB type C to HDMI on this side, and for power, USB type C to USB type A for this side as well. Display screen settings again. Identify, three, one, two. Our cursor then can be dragged all the way to the left and all the way to the right as well. Really, really straightforward, simple, easy setup, guys. Regardless of whether you want to obviously extend these, like so, with, regardless of whether you want to have it in a portrait version, again, I think it's pretty sick, guys, how they've just thought about, ah, do you know what, we'll have that. <laughs> um, maybe if you're coding and you need it in that particular orientation, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. For me, I don't have it like that, guys. I prefer having both of my screens, which are in landscape versions. But what I really do like, guys, is the ability that everything is just there Simple, straightforward, no software, and it works, guys, yeah? The one thing that I would say, and I've noticed that's changed from this version to their other S6, is at the back here is your settings button and your power button, which can go into your on-screen display. You can change your contrast, your brightness, your HDR, uh, all the different presets, etc., etc. That is pretty difficult to get to, when you've got obviously your screen maybe it's so low you've got to come around the back it's difficult to get to i think it would have been personally better to have one of those buttons on the top so it's easily accessible but guys i absolutely love the fact that it's hdmi it's usb type c it can be externally powered obviously via type a um i like it so ultimately i think it's bloody good now, the other thing that you've got to take into consideration is cost. And this comes in at £309. And a lot of people out there will be going, £309 for two 15.6 inch screens? I could buy two 144 screens for uh, 100 and, what, £155 uh, each. Absolutely, you can, guys. Okay, but they're not ones that you're gonna be able to fold down, they're not ones that you're gonna be able to take with you on the go, that can literally go in a little portable bag here, and they're ones which are gonna be 24, 27, 30 inch screens that are gonna be made to stay where they are on a desk, etc., etc. The whole point of this is the use case, and that is the mobility of these how small they fold down in terms of form factor and how much of an impact they have when obviously hooked up to a laptop with that additional screen real estate. So I think Sia Viala have absolutely knocked it out there, guys. So if I didn't like it, I'd tell you. The truth is they've been really open and honest. I could say whatever I wanted. And in all honesty, guys, this is something that I am gonna be using every single day because it's really simple, really straightforward easy to set up and it's going to make a massive difference to my day-to-day -day working so i'd love to know has anyone else got one of these 
have they had any issues with it please as always share your opinions down below i'd love to hear people's thoughts on how they spend their cash and feedback to any potential buyers is a massive bonus as well so guys i'm hoping this is going to make a difference for you laptop users out there and i'm going to be using it for the next what three four weeks and i'll post an update on the video if there's anything negative i come across any problems anything obviously doesn't work as it should do i will keep the video updated and as always any questions let me know and i answer every single one of them guys i wish you have a lovely weekend thank you for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one